All right, so um, basically this last step just entails going through, making sure everything, um, making sure all of these stacks are um, only the photos that belong in that series because otherwise you will end up with um, your computer telling you that, that Lightroom actually can't stack them. Um, so this one is 10. I'm just going to do this as quickly as possible. Stack that one. Stack this one. Everything looks pretty good. Five. All right, I think we are golden. I don't think that there were, oh, that one, 22. How did I end up with 22 in that stack? All right, well, obviously, you really need to check. Okay, it's five. So once you've done this, da, 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 da. All right, so moving right along here. This is going to be a little bit tough with these exteriors, with the uh, the rain and stuff, the way that it was. But um, you know, we'll do our best. All right, there's a stack of five, stack of five. Okay, everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and select all, just to make sure that there's no confusion. And I'm going to go up to my file menu and go to plugin extras and go blend exposure using Lightroom and Fuse. All right, so here's where the magic happens. <clears throat> okay, so I want to, um, let's see, just quickly go over. Um, uh, you can see my, my settings here. I want to know if there's an error, blah, 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 auto align. Um, I find that these settings work best. So you can just take a quick look. Automatically align images before blending them. Um, exposure weight, um, saturation weight, contrast weight. Um, these are just the, the, the settings that I have found work the best. Um, and then I'm going to go to output. So I want to I want to make sure that I'm in batch mode. This is super super important. Um, otherwise, it's only going to do whichever files are selected. Um, this way, it's looking to only merge the batched files. Um, it's going to create blended files. And I actually want to make sure that those blended files come out in a TIFF format. Um, it gives me a lot more room to actually um, modify and, and finish developing the, the photos once they come out. Um, so I definitely don't want to use JPEGs. Um, it's going to go ahead and re-import them back into Lightroom. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and, uh, and it'll include the metadata in case you wanted that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Infuse. And now this thing is going to crunch. I let it, I let it crunch. And yeah, stay tuned.